Nearly 40,000 pounds of produce grown on the central coast is headed to Texans impacted by these historic winter storms. KSBY's Megan Healy took a tour with Beachside Produce to see how they are getting fresh food from their Guadalupe farm to Texas tables. Beachside Produce is sending nearly 1,200 boxes of fruits and veggies to the Central Food Bank in Austin, Texas. They're sending things like broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, and strawberries. The partners in this business say that they wanted to help any way they could after watching the devastation ravage through some of those southern states. Broccoli and Brussels sprouts are being harvested, boxed, and shipped from Oso Flaco to their final destination in Austin, Texas. There's a lot of food insecurity in that state right now. If you tack the pandemic on, but people are nervous about where they're going to get their next meal. Beachside Produce partner Steve Adlish felt compelled to help the millions of Texans impacted by power outages and food and water scarcities after frigid storms slammed the south. His company is donating 40,000 pounds of fresh produce to the Central Texas Food Bank. We have, you know, an abundance of crops here right now. So it's uh, it's really just, you know, a small token to say, hey, guys, I hope you get back on your feet. The vegetables picked in the field Monday morning are being packaged with ice at a cooling center down the road to preserve freshness on their journey. Packing machine there, they'll actually size them and sort them. We can even weigh them. And they go into a shed where they're iced sometimes and then usually ship with ice on them. Veteran farmers giving Texans a taste of the central coast by sending produce care packages. Look at this weather, what 75 today and that's one of the reasons why we have such beautiful and prolific vegetable crops because we have the weather to grow them. Lending a hand even thousands of miles away. We're a truckload away, right? We have a transportation company that donated the freight. They're helping. The cooler's helping, the growers are all helping, so I think it makes everyone feel good. The trucks are expected to arrive at this facility Monday night, and the shipment's expected to reach Texas by Friday. In Guadalupe, I'm Megan Healy, KSBY News. Guadalupe Cooler is also donating a pallet of water to the te Central Texas Food Bank.